all right guys so welcome back in cyber community and in this session we are going to discuss about that how we can install windows server 2019 so let's start we are going to install in just uh, three steps the first one will be downloading the windows server and the second one we need to uh, configure it and then we have to install it that's it so let's go windows server 2019 you have to go in this link microsoft evolution center and here you can see download the iso and download the vhd file so i'm going to download this vhd file the vhd means virtual hard disk right and this iso i'm not going to download this iso image so click on that download the vhd and once you will click on that that will redirect to this page and here you have to fill this form to download give all your details whatever is needed let's say united states uh, company size one let's say ch right and okay and uh, here it is and give any of the number right and just download it now click on download now so now if you can see here there are a lot of language in which you can download but we are going to download in English language and VHD is only available in English so you have to click on that 64 bit addition button but I already have downloaded right so what I'm going to do I'm going to cancel it and now I'm directly going to configure my windows server 2019 so i will click on new will give the name windows server 2019 and from here i will choose 2019 64 bit so memory size i'm going to give at least having 4096 that is 4 gb and use an existing uh, virtual hard disk file so we already have so let's click on this and click on add go in the download and this is windows server 2019 right and choose so windows server vhd normal 40 gb right uh, yeah so we have to click on create so we have successfully created and normally 40 gb is already assigned to server 2019 now what we need to do we need to go in the settings and check whatever the things if you want to check like your storage and whatever uh, we already have that file so we don't need to add anything right so let's close it and directly start it Now it has been started. It is loading all the files of that uh, VHD, whatever the available.
now our device is starting so let's wait for a couple of minutes now guys if you can see it has already uh, installed and we need to choose choose here uh, each and everything whatever the country region you are living uh, so i'm choosing just uh, uh, united states let's say click on next okay applying these settings now we need to accept the terms and condition the license term so i'm going to click accept here we have to choose our password so let's choose your password um, i have chosen my password and that's it click on finish so see uh, downloading the iso image will take more time right and the vhd file is one of the shortest thing uh, by which you can install the windows server in just five to uh, five to ten minutes i guess uh, not more than this so now here boom we we already have installed okay see see uh, this is one of the problem in this that we can't actually click on that something right so what you have to do is just click on that input and go in the keyboard section and insert control alt delete now see here now we can able to give the password here so I'm giving my password here enter So now here uh, it will take some time just to open. You can see the uh, uh, 
like uh, this black screen but actually it is loading it will come the screen will come soon so you should have to wait uh, for that until and unless uh, some screen is going to come here that might take uh, uh, maybe five minutes might take uh, 10 minutes i don't know i mean uh, depend depends on your processor Now guys, so, so we can see our Windows screen. It is still uh, setting up all the things for us. It will take some time again. Uh, meanwhile, let's see. Okay, yeah, it is loading, right? So now do one thing. You can, you can, uh, if you want to uh, do the full screen, just uh, press Control F, and this pop-up will come, and hit the Enter button. So now you can see the full screen, right? and what if you want to just get out from this full screen so again you have to uh, press the control f and you will automatically is going to come outside from that full screen so we can see our server manager is already started and if you want to do uh, whatever the, if you want to uh, change the computer name you can do with the server manager if you want to uh, change the you know uh, this time you can do it so whatever you want you can do it uh, with the help of uh, this server, server manager